In this video, I'm going to teach you the very basics to editing a video inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So if you've never used the software before and you're just unfamiliar with it, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to walk you step by step on how to start editing your videos. You got to just press record. Hey guys, my name is Nolan Moult. Now, if you haven't seen the first video to this, this is actually a part two video. Click the link in the description and actually go watch that one first because I show you how to import your footage, how to organize everything, how to back up your footage, as well as just get familiar with these different windows and different things that are going on inside of the software. Now in this video, I'm going to focus on the editing aspect. So let's just get right into it and start editing a YouTube video. So I have nine clips in my events folder right here, and I'm going to drag all of these onto my timeline. I'm going to hold down shift and select this last one. And I'm just going to simply drag those. And now I have all my videos inside of my project. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so I can see what's going on. To do that, you can hit command plus button, or if you hit command minus button, this is going to zoom out. Now editing is as simple as removing clips and keeping the good stuff. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go through and start removing some of the pieces that we don't want in our final video. So to hit play so far on my video, I'll hit the space bar. I'm just looking at the camera, kind of getting ready to talk. And if I zoom in on this clip right here, you see these audio waveforms down here. This is when I start talking and this is when I want the video to start, when I actually start saying stuff. Also, you might notice there's this black vignetting on these corners on this camera. I'm going to show you how to fix that, how to kind of crop in a little bit. We'll do that next. But first, this is what you're going to use most of the time, which is your blade tool. To pull up your blade tool, you can go over here and you can select the blade or you could hit B, but this is kind of your tool. So you have select, you can trim, position, range selection. Uh, but I just like to learn these shortcuts and so I will hit B and you can see right here now my cursor is a blade. All you have to do is select where you want to make your cut and when you click on that you can see that there's now a splice right in between these videos. So now we have one cut in the video kind of making it two videos so we can select this first part and if we hit delete now the beginning of this video starts when I start talking. Let's go to the end of this clip and do the same thing over here. So I'm talking and this is where I'm going to end it. Now, if you hit command B, this is going to make a cut for you right where your playhead is. And so this right here is the playhead. So where your playhead is, is where it's going to start playing your video. So with that over there, I hit command B and this is what happened. I'll select the second half of the clip and I will delete that. Now that right there is a big piece of editing, just kind of getting rid of the parts that you don't want and keeping all the good stuff. Another thing you can do here if you want to extend this clip or maybe shorten it is hover over the end of the clip and you're going to see this trim tool. Now, if you hold down, if you click and hold down, you can drag this to the left to start cutting off more of this clip on the left. If you want to extend it, you can drag it to the right. Now, if I want to do the same thing on the right clip, I'm going to slightly move it to the right. And now you see that bracket has flipped. Now this means I am trimming this right clip. So I can extend it to the left, but this red marker lets me know this is the beginning of the clip. So I'm going to start cutting everything out that I don't want. And I want it to start right there. Let's bring this clip back. And that is allowing you to trim those so that you can extend them, shorten them, lengthen them, do what you want with that. I use that tool a whole lot as well. Now let's say I want this clip actually to go first before this very first clip. All you have to do is select the clip you want to move. You can drag it and we're going to drag that right in front. And now everything kind of snaps into place. Now this clip is going to play first and this clip is now going to play second. Now let's say we want to add an effect over here. We have our effects window and let's say we want to add the camcorder. So I'm going to drag that onto this clip here. And now you're going to see that we have this camcorder effect just by dragging that. Now, if I select this clip over here in the inspector tool, we can mess with the amount of this effect being added. We'll leave that at hundred. You can change the text to whatever you want to say. Let's say, think the size, all this stuff is adjusted. So if you ever want to adjust something, go over here into the effects tab, make sure you have your effect selected and then you can mess with some of these effects. Now let's add a transition. So I'm going to go over to my transitions by clicking this and we are going to, let's say the circle one, we are going to drag this right in between these two clips. Now let's play it through and see how it looks. So it's pretty cool, but let's say I want to speed it up and make it a faster transition. All you need to do is trim and shorten up that transition. So with a trim tool, just like we were making a clip shorter, we we're going to use this to make our transition shorter. So with the bracket facing the right way to the left, we know that we are selecting this uh, transition. So we are going to bring that in and that brings in both sides for us. Now it's a quicker transition. And if you want to make it extra long, you can drag that out. And this now has your transition being extra long.
Now let's say you want to move the transition a little bit to the left or the right so it starts earlier or maybe it starts later. If you hover over the middle, you can actually move this transition. Let's say we want it to start sooner. This is going to cut off what we were just having, but let's say we wanted to cut off that anyways. That's how you can move the transition within the clip to play it earlier or later. Let's say we like it right here, but we don't want all this dead space. All you need to do is hit B to bring up your blade tool. We are going to cut right there. Then we're gonna delete this clip and now it's going to start when I start talking. All right, let's get rid of this vignette that I was telling you guys about the dark corners. All you gotta do is crop in. So with your clip selected, if you go right here, we are gonna change this from trim to crop. Now I can actually crop in on my clip. So I'm gonna make sure that this vignette is not showing by zooming in a bit and then we are gonna reposition where we want it. When we're done, we're gonna hit done. Now we've actually cropped in on the image so that we're not seeing the vignetting and you can crop in on any clip. I use this a lot to kind of crop in on my face, crop back out. So this is a great tool to use and to know how to use. Now, if we want to mess with the audio and make the audio louder on this specific clip, we can hover over this line right here. And if we hover over this line, we are going to see 0.0, .0 dB. This is the standard, the neutral place for your audio to be at. So as you import any sort of audio, as you import any sort of video, it's going to start at 0 dB. You can then add plus 2, plus 2. 12 dB, minus 12 dB, you can mess around and add or take away from the volume. So we are going to increase the volume. I'm simply just gonna drag up this line right here and this is going to actually boost up those waveforms. You can see that now it says 5 dB. And if you don't have your audio waveforms right here, all you gotta do is select this and this is going to bring them up for you. So now when I play my clip, it's going to be louder than it was before and if I want to completely silence it, I can bring that to zero. You can see there's no audio happening right here. And then I can bring the audio back up. I'm like, okay, I want it right around 9 dB. Perfect, this is exactly where I want it. And that's how you can adjust the volume. Now, if we wanna add text, up here we have our test and generator. So I'm gonna select this. We have titles and we have generators. Generators are kind of like backgrounds is how I would explain them. So one I use a lot is just a custom, which is a color. And then from here, we can change the color to whatever we want. So let's say we want the color to be white. I'll drag this like that. Now I have a white background and I can add text to this. And so we'll go over to titles. Now these different titles have different effects. We can see this one is dramatic. And if I hover over from left to right, we're gonna see kind of the effect that it does. And if you like one, you can simply drag it onto your clip. Clearly it's a white text over white background, so we can't see it. So what we'll do is first let's change the face, which is going to be the color. And so we're gonna hit show and we are going to change the color to, let's change it to a blue. Now, if you wanna change your text, you can just double click on title and this is going to highlight everything for you. Now we have this text bubble popped up. So we'll change this to think media. And now let's play this through to see how it looks. Now the one I typically use is just a custom and this is just your basic text. So let's change this text to black. And now up here we have this text. So we can change this to think media. We can change the font if we want. You can move it around by dragging this here. You can also change the font size, mess with any of the properties all under here under this properties tab. Back on the timeline, if we just want to delete a clip, I'm like, okay, I don't really want this in there. You can select the whole thing. You can delete this. And then up here, if you want to use it again, you can bring it back. You can see that there's an orange underline. This means I'm using the clip right now on my timeline. This makes it really easy easy to see the clips that you haven't used yet and so I can hover over it and see if I want to bring that back in. So if you delete something in your project, it's still going to be there in your event and then from there, you can just bring it back into your project if you'd like. Now, if you aren't seeing these orange lines, all you need to do is go to view, go to browser and make sure that used media ranges is selected. Now, in order to use some music, let's import it into Final Cut Pro first. So we're going to right click right here and we're going to hit import media. I have a song on my desktop, so I'm going to select that song and then hit import selected. From here, I'm going to drag this entire song down here onto my timeline. We can do the same thing with audio that we can with video. So if we want to trim this, then we can do that. If we want to lower the audio, then we can definitely do that by bringing that down. 
I'll then drag this to the beginning of the project. And then if I want to fade in the audio so it doesn't start abruptly, there is a little ball right here. And if you drag that to the right, this is going to be a fade in for your music. And you can also do this on videos by just dragging these to the right. This is going to fade in your audio so that it doesn't start abruptly, but it just fades in. You can also fade out your audio by doing the same thing on the other end. Now that right there is just the tip of the iceberg. It's the very basics of editing. If you want to learn more about audio editing or best export settings for your video, then click on the screen and check out our playlist with our Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next video.